comments here. I like what you said. This, there's some very constructive things came out from the brother said about the equation of yes. causes. I think we had some good discussion. Yes. So research, uh, you know, not to be confined just to postgraduate. There are other models, other people. By the way, for just to let you know, at our IPC training academy, I was. Learners have been exposed to research methodology at the at the, and part of the course in in, in comparative is so that they have, they have been given a research uh, project to do on in our particular case on 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 the crusade the crusade wars to go and give them a little insight into how to go and research mana ticks into varsity. So why don't we not we can extract those skills? What I just yes. uh, uh, saying don't have to be a postgraduate student only and. To yes. confined to a certain elite. Brothers, yes. Uh, if I may just add to that, uh, we, we don't need to be either a postgraduate or a postmodernist to do research. Uh, for that matter, uh, uh, Imam, uh, Imam Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, of course, the doyen in the field of hadith with his knowledge of ilmul jarh wa ta'adil, uh, in simple relating to what we would call hadith criticism, he was neither a postgraduate nor a postmodernist. So the point is, standards of research have been shown already by some of our illustrious predecessors. Uh, but you see, that type of minefield needs to be tapped. We need to tap. No, I'm not. Just, uh, no, just, uh, just add what you're saying because, uh, for example, uh, I work for the Department of Labor. We had to get through from, you know, from different staff members to do. I did it at University of Natal. I did uh, research and statistics there. But you know, because like we're saying, we're talking about statistics, and you don't even trust because a person can say anything, you know, when you're even doing that research and give you information. But you should be able to see through that information. That's why then they say we're even talking about bursaries because now I think I should mention it. We have a leadership a program that has been started by our minister because other people cannot afford to go to the universities. So how does this work? Is that when a person has finished standard ten and has that certificate, uh, companies are saying we're looking for some uh, some people that we can train in IT, but they get a certificate that will lead them to go anywhere where they want to go. Because I had to ask them, are you selective? If uh, in religion and whatnot, they say even if uh, people, uh, you know, uh, if embrace Islam, are, are Muslims, they can come in and fill up the applications. So whenever then the company X, looking at the courses they have taken, then they can be able to take those people and train them free, because the, the department is paying for that. So it's part of skills. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, did I all right, I think let's round up. We, we, it is 9 o'clock. I, I know there may be many other things. I want to thank uh, Prof for, 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 for the input. Thank everyone. Uh, thank everyone else uh, for coming here, sacrificing. I think anything else that you want to discuss with Prof, he, he's coming down from the ivory tower when he comes out from here to you and make himself accessible to you. I think some very constructive, for me in particular, some very uh, very good ideas came out this evening, Alhamdulillah. And I think more things like this, Prof, you need to come down more often, inshallah. Uh, and, and we need a lot more brainstormings like this, uh, so that we can, inshallah, for the benefit of the Ummah, as you said, knowledge is power. I was telling Prof this morning, the thing we decided, I mean, discussed is one of the things that made the Adam Ali Salam greater than the angels. What was it that Allah SWT to finally tell the angels to bow down to Adam Ali Salam? It was the fact that he had certain information which he had knowledge knowledge the words which allah taught him which the angels didn't have so this knowledge is so important that's what this evening was all about and how to harness that knowledge but to do it in our context of our new south africa with all its challenges uh, and you have to compromise you win some you lose some it is the name of the game but you got to keep going and we got to keep changing a losing situation into a winning situation by strategically and uh, not, uh, you know, just saying because we are caught in there, we must give up. So I think it's, uh, for a Muslim, uh, the struggle always continues. Uh, it never, even if this was an Islamic state, there would soon yes. be struggles. Even if we're right now, the, the, we, are, we know that we are more free to practice Islam than in Muslim countries, right? Correct. So, they, so, so they are, this, this struggle never ends. And I think this is the beauty of Islam. And I think an evening like this, uh, 
is this stimulates us to realize that we must uh, not stop. This is just the beginning. It's an unending road. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Get to end up with this dua for us, inshallah. And in case the sisters in the back there, and the brothers here, we got uh, some eats, have yourselves. And if those who want to pray, Isha will go upstairs. Those who want to go home and pray, the choice is yours. <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة المتقين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء المرسلين اللهم اغفر وارحم وأنت خير الراحمين اللهم إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اللهم ثبتنا للإيمان اللهم عمتنا للإيمان إن الله ملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد وبارك وسلم وصلم عليه فصل الله تعالى على خير خلق وآله وصحبه أجمعين برحمتك يا رحم الراحمين جزاكم from the how is it